Hello and welcome to Bali Spring. Yeah, we uh we decided to, you know, come over here, give it a check, you know, look at it, look it over, and uh, you know what? I fell in love with this farm, and we're gonna get right to work. All right, we have cows, we have chickens, we have a duck, we have calves. Um, and they need food, like ASAP, Rocky. Okay, so we're going to need to go ahead, get some of this grass mowed down. Go harvest our field over there. Yeah, it, guys, it's going to be a really, really busy day. Stick around. If you guys are new around here, hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing and uh, we're I'm, I'm going to find everything and then get get to work. All right, well, let's go. Now I'm just, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out my way around this place. Um, okay, so we have the mower hooked up. Which way is this gonna unfold? Okay, it goes this way. All right, all right. That is easy enough. Okay, so let's drop that down. Let's get to mowing. You know, these fields aren't that big. Shouldn't take too terribly long to do. And even if it does, oh well. We we need to get it done. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit of a difficult corner to make. Oh, this is really gonna test my driving. This is all really tight spaces. You know what? It'll be it'll be it'll be fine. We got it. We got this. All right, all right. So I'm gonna get a couple of these fields mowed. They shouldn't take too terribly long. I mean, uh, we do have a really small mower, but you know what? I don't think it'll take that long. All right, it, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I went and bought some new equipment and got rid of some of the old equipment that I really didn't like. Um, I know we have a silage bunker right here, but we have nothing to pick any silage up with. So I just went and got a uh, Massey Ferguson, uh, wrapper or baler and wrapper combo and i also went and got a uh shooter maker vertigo 180 um it, it'll be it'll be a nice little addition hopefully we have enough food to um you know keep the animals or keep the cattle healthy and we need to get some i think i need to get a uh milk trailer to run over to the calves because we do have calves they are just over there. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys the calves later. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of busy trying to get everything caught up because I don't know why nothing was caught up, why we don't have any food. It, it's, it's, it's just going to be a kind of a hectic day, I have a feeling. So I won't always have to, you know, drive through the field. I, I found another entrance into the field. But... I also found something else on the used vehicle market and it's going to make, whoa, hello. Huh? That doesn't look safe. Um, but it is going to make our life a lot easier and a lot quicker when it comes to, uh, mowing. So yeah, let's, let's go look at it. Oh, everything is so tight. There we go. I got us a little uh, a front mower, I guess you could call it. Now, instead of only mowing the width of our back mower, we should be able to mow a, a little bit wider. All right, come on. There we go. We'll just go back through the way that we came because I don't know if we have enough room to turn around. All right, come on. Come on. Ooh, it's so muddy. Oh, get up in there. Oh, oh, don't want to take out the gate. That would be a bad day. But that would be something I'd do. Come on. Oh, man. We really need to get rid of that mud. All right. Cool. Let's get, uh, let's get going. Well, this is working quite well. I'm kind of wondering what 
this pile of dirt over here is for, but you know what? We'll figure that out sometime. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We'll probably harvest around it and then grab a uh, loader bucket and kind of push it over here out of the way so we can harvest the whole field. But we'll end up killing crop in the process of that, so it doesn't really matter as of right now. We're going to lose the crop that that's on top of anyways. Oh, well. But this is this is quite nice. We're actually getting quite a lot mode. I I am happy with this. You know, we are quickly making this, you know, into a really good farm. I'm not sure what that guy's doing over here. I don't know if that's I, you know, I need to look up the fishing regulations in uh, Ireland because, well, um, here in the States, we don't we don't like it when people are walking across our pastures or, you know, or maybe maybe it's the guy that owns the uh, pasture next to us. I don't know. But regardless, he's getting a little close. And what? Wait, what did I see over here? But it, oh, hey, ooh, piece of candy. Heck yeah. I'll take a thousand dollars happily. We have, oh, that's a lot of mud. We have one more field to mow. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, don't beat it up too much. There we go. And uh, I'm starting to realize you need to be pretty strategic on how you enter and leave your fields, depending on where you need to go from here. Now, I told you guys, I'd be showing you all the calves and well, here they are. Here's where all the calves are. All right, can we make it? Okay. Okay, not too much mud. All right, all right. Perfect. So here's the calves. They uh, they got their food. They need some milk. But uh, I'm going to get that gate shut so that way they're not getting out on us because, well, I'll be honest, I don't want to go wrangle up calves, okay? It's... It's not enjoyable doing that. All right, all right. How do we get to our field? Um, okay, yep, it's this field. Perfect. And there's just like mud and dirt piled up everywhere. Huh. How about that? All right, let's get this gate shut. Because I don't get why they have the gate open. Because I bet you money there's another gate in here somewhere. That is, uh, well, I, I would have bet. Um, and I would have lost that bet. Maybe now. No, we'll just mow this, keep this part shut, make it to where uh, we can get some hay and everything else for our cattle and the calves. All right, back to mowing. Let's see if we can save this farm. We had some other pieces of equipment when it came to... Uh, Windrowers and stuff like that. They were they were a little small. All right. I'm not looking to take all day doing this because we still have to harvest. Okay, so I went and I bought a little bit bigger um, windrower and a little bit bigger of a tether. Yeah, this is this is this is gonna be fun. I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure out how big of a uh, um planter we can get. Because, yeah, um, I don't, I don't want to run this, the three meter that we have here at the farm. But we have, we have a, we have a few days to figure that out. Okay, um, this is, this is going to be difficult to get, um, this spot right here. All windrowed up. Um, how are we going to do this? Um, uh, oh no. Never mind, it's not gonna be that bad. Just gonna be really fun. Trying to get that spot done. Or we, or you know what, we're... We can't afford to leave anything behind. So there we go. We should be able to uh, drop the pickup header on the baler and grab that little spot. Hopefully. Maybe. I wish I could get to, you know, actually going and harvesting so that way we can at least get some hey pup pup get hey get out of here oh 
Come on now. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I really wish we could get to harvesting already, but we need to get this silage done. So that way, or the grass bailed up and wrapped, I'd at least get a couple bales done and make it to where we can actually go and get this stuff fermenting because it takes a few days to get it fermented. And so this is pretty much top priority because this will take the longest in terms of making feed. Okay, so we got nine bales out of our first field and we got four bales. So we have 13 bales right now. That should be enough. So let's go jump in the combine and we'll go get everything going because uh, yeah, our, our chickens are, are hungry. Our cattle are going to be hungry too, but you know what? They're big. They're strong. They, they, they can handle a little bit of hunger every once in a while. I need to uh, cut that corner a little bit closer. There we go. Ooh. Oh, this is, this is, this is pain. Oh, dear Lord, is any com, is any other combine other than this one, like, gonna be able to fit? That's what I'm starting to wonder. This place is so tight for any way of getting around. I wish I could take down some of these fences, I'll tell you that. Ooh, come on. Don't be sliding around on me. Oh, it's just so long. Come on. Come on. Yep, run over all that crop. There's just going to be so much backing up, going forward, backing up, going forward. It's, it's going to get, I'm going to get, start getting dizzy with this. All right. Off to harvest. Now this is a pleasant surprise. I've been seeing these yield numbers and I have not expected anything. Okay. I know that our 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 soil is not conducive to having a high yield crop but filling up that combine even though it's not very much is is very nice okay it is a wonderful little um what, what would you call it uh surprise yeah there there we go that's what i'll call it it's a little difficult getting out of that field but it's manageable now the fun part is here we have to see if we can make this turn oh that's tight oh that is really tight oh i really gotta get used to this field or this not field but this farm whoo it is definitely gonna be testing my skills as the best driver in farm sim that is for sure now let's get this all dumped off and then uh maybe we'll look into getting a uh actual bucket so that way we can take the little massey and go get oh come on go get this wheat over to the uh chickens because the, the the chickens need fed they only have like 700 liters of food and i don't like them having just 700 liters of food Okay, they, they need more than that. I need enough to where I can forget about them for a day or two. And just like that, we are done with our wheat harvest. Now, all that's left to do is to go around, windrow, and Ted all of our fields and then get everything bailed up. So none of the cows died overnight, which is great. It means they just need to last, what? Uh, a little bit, to, a little bit longer today. Yeah, that's already fermented down to seventy-seven percent, or fermented up to seventy-seven percent. So yeah, that that should work out really well.
But first things first, we got some milk. I went and I got a milk trailer. We need to go, you know, give give some milk to the calves. So that's what we're going to go do. Oh, it's so muddy. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. There we go. Now, where do... Oh, oh watch out. Veal anyone? Oh, well, maybe, maybe we got to put it on the other side. I got to figure out why that old, that old farmer that had this place before us had all that... Come on. There we go. Get him some milk. Um, I really got to figure out why he stored all this dirt over here. It's kind of a weird place to put it, but you know what? I'm not going to judge. Uh, okay, so today, guys, we need to get some baling done. I need to finish windrowing the, uh, the field that I turned into hay. Um, then we need to get the rest of our uh, fields done up with some lime and our grass fields need to be fertilized because oh dear lord come on come on little guy you can do it you can there you go um because well we don't have the greatest soil conditions as i've said before so we need to do the best that we can to get as much as we can so that means we have to be on top of our liming and we got to be on top of our fertilizing it is what it is but yeah if you guys like today's video hit that thumbs up if you're new around here consider subscribing and i'm gonna get off to the uh, hectic work week so i got all the hay windrowed now uh we're over here in the pen by the calves and we're gonna get all of this grass windrowed up because we're still gonna need more silage all right let's be honest here that's something that we'll always need so i figured we'd be able to get another cutting probably in so if we're gonna end up needing more hay we can make it then considering there is no wait for hay to be made all you have to do is ted it and it'll work just fine so yeah we're gonna kind of try and uh hedge our bets i guess you could say with uh doing more silage than what we need and hopefully it works out for us. All right. We are officially done wind drone for a little bit. Well, until we have to mow again, which hopefully won't be for another. Come on, open up. Won't be for another couple months. Hopefully we can get another cutting out of it. We should be able to, but nah, who knows? All right. Let's get over here. Get the gate shut. Or, yeah. Ah, screw it. Calves will be fine. Okay, so on to the next task, which is uh, jumping in the little massy and uh, ooh that that ooh that's a lot of mud. Oh ho! Oh. Thankfully we hit that with with all we had, because I don't know if we'd have made it through without doing it. Oh come on, there we go. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of me straining just to hope that my tractor makes it through the mud on this series. Oh, it, it'll get better. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Oh, dear Lanta. We should not be at this angle. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, get. Dear. Wow. Let's go get the windrower put away. Then get in the uh, little massy and get some bales made up. Then we can start moving bales. That's going to be an adventure. All right, we're on our final field of at least silage bales, which I'm still trying to figure out if I want to go get a auto load trailer for or or what I want to do. Or if I want to get a manual, tra I, I don't know. Or if I want to do it manually, you know, just go pick them up with the tractor and drive them back. I, I don't know. I may end up having to do that for a little bit until we can afford to get a, a trailer to move them all. I don't know. But till then, I'm going to do what I do best and uh, make bales and, you know, enjoy myself. Well, I thought that would never get done. We now have how many? 56 silage bales all together. That's a lot of silage. Dear Lord, that's a lot of silage. But now we need to get some hay bales made up. 
and then we'll finish off making our straw bales and we should be good after that i still needed <laughs> i still need to figure out if we're gonna you know make a um auto bale picker upper run or what why can't i get into my get in please i think i locked the tractor i'll be right back never mind it just was the door was just a little sticky it, things happen after you have a hundred hours on a piece of equipment okay it, it it is it is what it is okay now can, no, the question is can i make this corner without messing anything up no because apparently i got too close to okay come on crying out loud let's go oh that's such a tight corner okay come on come on get through the mud you can do it thank you all right start picking up some hay Hopefully it's going to turn over. Nope, it's going to stay grass. So we got another silage bale. Oh, well, nice. All right. Let's see if we can pick up another 85 liters of straw. Get this final bale kicked out. There we go. All right, let's get it kicked out. Come on. Let me go. Let me go. There we go. All right, get this folded up. Now we don't have to worry about uh, bailing for a little while. We will need to refill our net wrap though, which that'll be fine. So I've been doing some thinking about it and I think we're gonna rent a uh, auto load trailer along with a, uh, um, ooh, ooh, um, a bale shredder for now get a couple uh straw bales shredded and we'll probably uh we'll probably straw blow them out over here or something i don't know yet um i still got to figure out where we're gonna put all the bales because uh <laughs> yeah we got a lot of bales um yeah it's looking a little tight around here Oh, this is going to be a fun game. Yeah, let's try and uh, figure out where everything's going. Uh, I don't like this game. Uh, oh, I need a bigger farm. You know, maybe I can just sell this farm and go buy a different one. You know, you know, m m maybe I can do that. Probably not, though. <laughs> Probably not. All right, we decided, or I decided... To go with a uh, manual loader. Um, this is probably going to end up really bad. As well, if you guys don't know, uh, sometimes manual uh, loaders like the Anderson like to explode everywhere and send your bales everywhere. Hopefully that doesn't happen today, but uh, well, with how many bales we're going to be moving, that's that's there. There's a high likelihood that it's going to happen. Oh, well, though, well, we'll figure it out that, uh, that, that went, that went as well as I expected. Yep. Time for an auto load. I don't care if we're going to have trouble fitting in everywhere. We'll, we'll figure it out because I mean, we're already having trouble fitting everywhere because, uh, yeah, this place is, this is. I need to come in here and I need to cut down a lot of these fences. Yeah, that's definitely what needs to be happening. All right. So all we have to do is wait for our um, silage. There we go. I couldn't think of the word. Wait for our silage to get fully fermented. What are we at now? 92%. So in a couple hours, we'll be able to make some... Uh, TMR up for the cattle, which would be nice. And I think, I think we're just going to, uh, where are we going to blow all this straw? Where am I going to put it? Um, you know what? We're just going to put it right over here. 
Alright, back it up. Back it up, back it up. Right there looks good. So I gotta work perfectly. I believe our, uh, well, our chickens are doing good. We got some ducklings, we got some little baby chickens. I don't, I don't know what the name of baby chickens are, but you know what, we got them. Um, our fields are ready. Yeah. Ooh, we got some nice flowers in them too. Nice. Um, and then, you know, I think we're, I think we're going to be mowing. Yeah. Then, uh, we're definitely going to need to, I already got the tractors started and warm, warming up. Um, definitely going to be needing to feed the cows. Uh, they finally got a little bit of milk. We can send over to the, uh, calves, which would be nice. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun day today, guys. All right. I know we did a lot of mowing last, or couple videos ago but you know what we're gonna be doing some more today and uh we might be talking to the bank to get a little loan to maybe get a uh little forage wagon to pick up some grass to put in the uh, silage bunker so we have our grass field ready to go now i know it seems like this is all that we're gonna be doing here why is the dog playing in the road Dude, get out of the road, you idiot. Like, that's a great way to get hurt. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna question it. Okay. But as of right now, guys, this is gonna be our main source of, well, at least extra income, I should say. Because hopefully we have, we should, but hopefully we, we do. I'm not exactly sure, but, uh... Hopefully we have enough grass to make it to where we can, you know, survive the winter feeding our cows, but also sell some of them. So that way we can actually go ahead and, you know, make a little bit of money off of the silage, which we need desperately. I mean, look, we only have nine grand. Yeah, that's that's not enough to run a farm on. I'll tell you that. So as you could tell, we may and or may not have uh, finally figured out how to remove some of the, uh, well, bushes and um, fences and everything else. And uh, life is a lot easier now getting in and out of these fields, which is so nice. Oh, it was brutal before. It was so bad. But now we have no problem at all. With this front mower, this is going a lot faster than what it did previously. Um, we're only, shoot, half hour in and we're already good to go. I'm gonna get rid of some of these bushes too. Just cause, you know what? I feel I feel like it's needed. You know, you always, you always need to trim the bush a little bit. Now, with how fast we were able to mow everything, I figured, you know what, why not? Um, I should be able to turn around, squeeze into this field, which a contract is ready for, and we should be able to get everything bailed up and do a nice little, uh, you know what? There we go. That's gonna make getting that around that corner a heck of a lot easier. Um, and get, you know, a little bit of extra cash by doing some bailing contracts. Cause I mean, we're already gonna be bailing, so why not bail a little bit more? So we have finished the first field on the contracts. We're just doing two fields right now. It'll be 61 and 62. They're right by the farm. It's not gonna be much out of our way. And well, to be fair, it's going pretty quick. You know, we're, it's only 11 o'clock. It's not even noon yet. So that is a major bonus. I just, I just need to look into getting a better tractor here before too long because, uh, yeah, this, this old girl's getting tired. I mean, I'm pretty sure we started out the day with almost a full tank of fuel and yeah, it's, it's definitely sucking up some fuel. Ugh. But making the cash that we're about to make will be extremely beneficial for the farm so 
I got a, you know, want in one hand and, uh, mm -hmm, you know, in the other. And, yeah, see which one fills up first. Kind, kind of the situation I'm in right now. All right, so we're done mowing. Now, next thing to do, as per normal, is to windrow. But I don't think we're going to really worry about our fields right now because our fields aren't going to be paying us for a few months. So uh, we're definitely going to be getting these two fields uh, done up. And then uh, we'll probably do the other fields off camera. But no, we're, we're definitely going to be getting these done, though. All right. So the fun part has been completed. All right. We uh, we have everything windrowed. Now here comes the really uh, come on now. Time consuming part. We're going to go and wrap and bail up all the bales for these two fields. Yeah, this is this is this is gonna be fun. It's gonna take a long time though. I'm probably gonna have to come back for some more net wrap. Yeah, definitely gonna have to come back for some more net wrap. All right, so we are 62 bales deep. Um, we've had to refill our net wrap once, and uh, we have bales everywhere. It is. Uh, yeah, this, this, is good. this is definitely going to be a fun little trip, uh, trying to get everything figured out. But uh, we're definitely going to need to go and um, rent a uh, bale mover. But that's fine. We can do that. Hopefully with the uh, new update, they have fixed the Andersons because I, th I think I'm going to go with the Anderson. I also need to work on getting all of that grass up there rounded up and moved inwards a little bit because we're having some troubles on the uh, edges saying that the the land is not ours so yeah i gotta i gotta get that figured out but once we get all the grass moved over we should be just fine all right so we have rented a well bale transport trailer if you want to call it that um or whatever the heck you want to call it uh and hopefully it it doesn't explode like some of the other ones have um i'm hoping the update fixes it but we need to get all the bales picked up that we can and get it get all of them over to the uh i believe it's the bga is where they need to go and once we are done doing that we should have some excess bales and then i'll need to uh spend the rest of the day windrowing and bailing so that's gonna be fun but i'm more worried about getting this uh contract done right now because well a lot of our our tractors are uh getting a little low on fuel so we definitely need the money but i'll pro next next time i see you i'll probably be uh at the bga so let's let's go over there real quick all right so i i'm glad i went and rechecked everything because uh yeah um we didn't need to go to the bga we need to go to the valley springs mart which is right here all right let's get this dropped off come on come on now we got this start unloading oh yeah oh yeah contracts are done contract on 61 62 is a go all right cool now let's get it folded back up go pick up some Ooh, that's a big boy you know i might need to get a hold of you uh, that might that might be a smart thing to do you know get some get some better genetics in the herd maybe maybe one day all right time for load number two how done are we gonna be how much how much completion 65 okay okay we can do that oh wait that was actually selling bales did we complete the contract oh we did all right so collect collect all right Cool. We're ending up with $96,000 and uh, it is officially time to uh, go collect up the bales and go start making our own bales. So 
we started out doing a little bit of uh, contracts or mowing our own grass and ended up doing some contracts. Ooh, 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 hello, hello. How did I not see you before? Piece of candy. Um, I'm just going to sell my slurry. Uh, what is going on? I don't feel safe. So some stuff happened over winter. Um, we, we fed animals. We fed more animals and we fed more animals. So pretty much that's it. Oh yeah. And we bought a pickup because it was on sale and well, I felt like I needed a pickup because we're going to be doing a lot of driving today. And with doing a lot of driving, it'd be a lot easier to do it in a pickup because, well, pretty much everything is getting sold today. Yeah, well, minus our grains. We're going to sell off our silage that we made last time. We need to get that picked up, taken over to, I think it's the BGA this time. I don't know. We have a bunch of slurry that needs to be um, sold. That is going in this big old tanker, and we're going to disconnect that right now from this tractor. And yeah, it's it's going to be a good day. Oh, and uh, we may be redesigning and knocking out a few buildings because uh, we need them out of the way so we can bring in some fuel canisters because, well, our tractors are running low on fuel and they need fuel terribly. So... Oh, and we need to get that field planted. I'm not I'm not planting with you. That, that's not happening. I'm I'm gonna buy something else. Especially now that I can take out all of our Yeah. Now now, now that I can take out the fences, yeah, we're we're definitely um getting rid of that tiny little planter because I am not doing that. But if you guys like today's video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. Why is my dog always out in that field? And with that, we're going to get into it. Now, I was wrong. Okay. The uh, slurry and silage. They all need to go to the sell everything spot. Which is going to be nice because, I mean, I only have to learn, you know, the path of one place. But it's going to be kind of boring for you guys. So, yeah, we're going to go. Start selling off all of this slurry because, well, we're not too far from the place in all honesty. It is just a hop, skip, and a jump pretty much just around the farm. That's all we got to do. Right there is to sell everything. So, you guys don't know. Ooh. All right, let's get in here. Get up here. We'll start getting everything sold off. So we have these two buildings right here. Okay. When I said we we're going to knock down buildings, these are the two that we're getting knocked down. Um, we don't need them. They just pretty much just take up space and have all these little things in them. I really don't worry about it. We'll take this spigot bring it back here put it up against the building you know so we don't have just a random water spigot just you know out in the uh middle of nowhere but yeah then we'll knock out this building get all this stuff inside sold off that needs to get sold off we'll probably come in right about here and put our uh fuel tank i think it'll be a nice little spot to uh tuck it away and then we'll also get this gate sold off so uh I'm going to go get that done. We'll be right back. Well, would you look at that? Little piece of candy. And look at how much more room we have now. This is kind of... Oh, hey. Yeah, the, I'll get you sold here in a minute. This has kind of really opened up this farm. And I like that. We're going to be able to get around a heck of a lot easier... Shoot, we could probably even store some of our bales right here. Some of our excess bales. So that way we don't have to keep coming in here and storing them in here. Which I greatly prefer. Also, I need to get rid of you as well. Um, you 
need to be moved over there that'll work just fine all right let's uh whoa also let's do some dirt work to kind of level that out wow all right let's get to it there we go there we go now we'll probably just need to do a little bit of yeah a little bit of work right there in that corner and we will be golden here we are pony boy we are golden and ready to go that looks good now got a little bit of a ridge make sure that uh you know whenever that overflows it runs over here kind of you know makes it to where if it is overflowing you're gonna see it you know you're not just gonna maybe notice no you're definitely gonna notice holy cow that's a that's a lot of slurry that needs moved oh it's gonna be a long day and a uh, very um smelly day yeah this is gonna be fun let's get to it um i'm just going to sell my slurry uh what is going on i don't feel safe so while we are uh filling up and getting ready to sell more um oh wrong button dang it um come on now getting ready to sell more of our slurry because i'll be honest it takes a little bit to fill up that tanker because it's it's a little big we're gonna go and start grabbing some of our silage bales and get those sold off as well holy cow that is making some cash hello i think we just made a hundred grand with that huh i'll take it now let's get this folded back up and get to going back to the house <laughs> oh oh this is nice so we went out and sold okay so that is our second load and we made nine 99 grand something like that we also went and bought a new piece of land which as soon as i get this arm up come on get up there come on thank you uh i'll go show you guys it's right next to the house um still absolutely horrendous soil conditions but it is what it is but the best part about it is it's already planted so all we need to do is go spread some lime and some fertilizer on it and we should be able to get a pretty decent yield i would hope at least um at least for the soil type that it's in we should be able to get a a, a harvest to get us by all right a, a, enough off of the harvest to feed the chickens um it is a barley field it is actually right over there if you look in the trees you'll see a little bit of green um that, that's our field yeah we bought the field right across the road oh dear lord careful now people um yeah you see it looking through the trees right over there it's a pretty decent field nice size to it a little bit bigger than the field that we have so i'm happy with it and we might be able to oh dear lord these people are crazy um get some new equipment as well today other than that pickup Dude, that dog just loves that flipping field wow all right let's get back to uh picking up some bales so we're selling off our last little bit of silage i'm going to keep all the silage that we have um in storage right now where it is uh we also may or may not have gone with a new tractor yeah <laughs> i got really tired of the old tractor it was getting a little worn out um yeah so we got a new tractor it's a massey seven I, I do believe uh next generation and 
it is absolutely wonderful right now it has done everything we have asked of it and i couldn't be happier with it we also went and got a uh, nine meter uh john deere direct drill um i should have some liquid fertilizer showing up here before too long for it it does need liquid fertilizer uh, it, kind of weird like that i i didn't ask too many questions okay it was cheap and uh all the tractors should be able to pull it so that is the major bonus and it's nine meters so it's not going to take us forever to get things planted i also have been debating um we might rent out those two fields that we did those contracts on just you know just just to get some more well uh oh, hey now careful crazy drivers <laughs> so we have more grass right more grass means more silage more silage means more money and also we ended up buying this little anderson which i am extremely happy about i don't have to uh keep paying for the lease on it so yeah it's gonna save us a few dollars down the road now I'm going to get it parked over here. Come on now. There, there. Oh, okay, this is going to be a little tight when I get out. Yep, there we go. So, I'm going to go get hooked up to the John Deere and give them a holler and see where my seeds and my fertilizer are at. Yeah, because uh, if I'm going to get that field planted, I need to do it now. And I need to back up just a little bit more. There we go. All right, everything's hooked up. Uh, let's go give them a holler. Well, that didn't take long. They were just right down the road. They went and dropped off all the seed. We were able to get everything filled up pretty quickly. And just in case, I'm just going to leave this bucket, or not bucket, but this uh, pallet seed on here. Put that down. Get you shut off. All right, so I think we're just going to go with some, um, well, I think... We should be able to just plant wheat over here. Shouldn't do too terrible. We'll still be able to get straw off of it. We all, or you know what? Let's go with some barley. Because I think the field that we just bought already has barley in it. And well, why not just keep all of our crops the same? There we go. All right. We are finally planting our fields, which I'm okay with. Because we needed to get this done. We probably should have done it last year, but I was not, I was not about to play those games. That, uh, that little planter that we had, nah, no, nah, that is, that is, that is not my, it's not my style there, fam. Ain't gonna do it. Now, get back here. I think we can also expand out this field just a little bit because I think that is some field grass around here. So, may just be able to drop this down, turn it back on. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Back to work and getting everything planted. Shouldn't take too long, though. This is a pretty big drill. And, well, as you guys can see, we are covering some ground pretty quickly. Now, the best part about this drill, I have these little side markers. So... As long as I am able to turn around sharp enough, I can just redeploy these just like that. And I will have a line to follow even whenever I'm in the cab. So yeah, bonus to me. We are uh, using a nice new piece of equipment because <laughs> we, we, we need it. It's supposed to rain in a couple hours, and I do not want to be anywhere near these fields while it's raining. And we also have some hay that needs to be put up. So we're, uh, we're using this fast baler, and it is making it to where it is. It's, it's kind of like doing square bales, okay? It, it kicks out the bales, wraps them up, and makes it pretty, pretty easy, if I'm going to be honest. Um, we're just renting it. We still have ours. But we, since time is of the, the, 
time is of the necessity, okay? Or necess time is of the necessity. Uh, it oh, smart. Real smart. You know what? Time is important, okay? And we can't wait around to wrap a bale. And this ba this baler wraps it really fast, okay? That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm just a farmer, okay? And I don't know how this baler can bale at 16 miles an hour and how it makes it so continuous. But what I will say is, man, this, this tractor rides real smooth going this fast over the windrows. Right, burn through. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm going to need to go get a helmet on because it's going to shake me into a coma or something. This is, this is, this is terrible. I, I do not recommend. Now, I've been doing some thinking. And before you say it, yes, I know I'm not supposed to do that. But I'm thinking that this winter, we're going to buy this little grass field right here. Okay. And then we're going to come in, knock out all the shrubs. Okay. All of them. And plow all these fields together. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a really good idea. Because, well, let's be honest. It'll, it'll make life a lot easier. You know, don't only have to come in and out of one gate. All the bales, nothing in between. You know, and if we want to make it into a giant crop field, we can. Okay, it, 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 it adds so much versatility to the farm. And plus, it makes my life easier because I don't have to jump out of one field back into another field. And I don't have to do things like this. Okay, come on. Turn around. Thank you. I feel like Austin Powers. You know what? We'll just, we'll just grab that little bit on our way out. Ugh. See, it'll make life a lot easier in, in that aspect. Okay? So, I think that's what we're going to do. That is the tentative future plan for the farm. Um, I just accidentally hit this button. And I think we've made a lot of bales so far. We've already made 94 bales. Um, I need to figure out where we're going to store all of these... Because uh, this, this is going to take up a lot of space. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> uh, that's one thing we don't have on this farm is space. Uh, lovely. Hey, you know what? Maybe I can find an auto load trailer that'll work. You know, m maybe I can do that. Who knows? All right, come on. There we go. Uh, all I know is that I really hope it doesn't start raining early. I really hope that they are accurate on their prediction on when that rain's supposed to get here. Because that rain's not supposed to get here till about 1 o'clock. And I... We're going to need all of that time if we're going to get all of these bales picked up, put away, and all of the hay done up. Because... Oh, don't forget, guys, we also have hay. Yeah. This... This, this is going to be fun. Oh, would you look at that? Somebody's gotten big. Hmm. Maybe. We need to, uh... Go get a cattle trailer. And start moving you guys over to the house. Or bring everybody from the house out here. That, that actually doesn't seem like a bad idea. Hmm. I like that idea. Maybe we'll do that later. Maybe we'll do that during the rain. Yeah, that's a good rain project. Because everybody loves working cattle whenever it's raining outside. Yep, it's it's our favorite thing to do. By the looks of it, as of right now, we're going to get lucky. Okay? We are, we're going to be able to get everything at least bailed, which is half the battle. But... I don't know if we'll be able to get everything picked up. I'm still trying to figure out where we're going to put everything. Because, uh, yeah, we've we, we've made a hundred and... Probably, we'll be at probably 140 bales by the time we're done. That's going to take a little bit to pick up. Okay? Um, 
and that's gonna take up a lot of space so i i i need to figure out where we're gonna put it all uh-huh maybe instead of renting a uh baler maybe maybe i should have just got a uh, forge wagon that probably would have been easier yeah that definitely would have been easier huh you know what? after we sell off all that uh silage this winter maybe maybe, maybe we'll get one i don't know depends on how much money we make no i just realized we're gonna have to uh take all those bales and sell them off oh i really should have thought this through i really should have thought this through i made a mistake i you know what that that's a future 4b problem okay we're, we're just gonna worry about the problems we have right now okay we're finally done making bales and i think i found the perfect spot to store all of our bales i always seem to forget about this little piece of land because i was actually driving over here to drop off the baler to get it out of the way because i was gonna store all of our bales over here but um i think i think they'll fit better in this little field because i came over here saw that there's grass still in it and i was like oh yeah there's a field right here so since i always forget about it why not just make it to where i have no choice let's fill it up with bales because uh yeah a hundred and some odd bales yeah that's gonna take up a little bit of space oh and i need to clean all of this up somehow some way but that that's that again again that's a problem for future 4b we we just need to go get hooked up to the anderson and get to picking up bales all right that that's all we need to do right now it's all i need to worry about and there's everything in the way all right we are on load number two and i i i keep sitting here looking at the hours just slowly tick by and i am genuinely terrified that we're not gonna be able to do it in time okay but as you can see uh we're we're, we're definitely going to be filling up this uh field <laughs> yeah because that is 48 bales and we have about 100 left to go yeah this is this is this is gonna be fun i think we're gonna take out a couple of these hedges right here just to save us some drive time yeah let's take out a couple of these hedges that, that sounds like the smart thing to do at least so we have four loads of silage bales and six extra um yeah i'm not i'm not doing that math um we all know that i'm not supposed to do math but we're done picking up all of the silage bales now we just need to go around and grab our hay bales and hopefully we will uh beat beat the storm i i am uh i'm i'm not I'm not confident okay because uh just picking up those bales took us quite a while yeah it's, this is gonna be fun it's gonna be really fun oh rearranging this barn took way longer than expected oh dear lord but we have our uh ah crap the rain's here the rain's here the rain's here we gotta hurry gotta hurry oh no oh no this is about to get really bad oh no oh i, ju I just i just want to finish this i just want to finish this pass oh come on come on let me pick up these bales oh come on come on pick up pick it up pick it up let's go not getting too muddy yet it's not getting too muddy yet oh we're gonna make it Yes. Oop. Oop. Come on. Come on. Grab it. Thank you. Come on now. Come on now. One more. 
One more. All right. Nice. And with that one, guys, we have successfully picked up all of our bales. Um, we're not struggling anymore. We're not racing against the rain because the rain's already here. And well, now I just need to go figure out where we're going to put this hay. We, we, we have to harvest today because, uh, if you guys look, yeah, yeah, um, uh, the chickens and the, and the ducks and everybody, yeah, they're, 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 they're kind of chunky and, uh, they ate all the food, but it was perfect timing. It was literally just enough food to last us until harvest because they literally just ran out like a few hours ago. So we are going to go run over here to our harvester. We got everything set up in advance. Um, I'm also debating on, uh, you know, renting something to help make this grass harvest a little bit quicker because dear Lord, I can't keep up. But regardless, that's, that's a problem for, for future 4B. All right. Now we have the Deutz over here. Everything's hooked up, PTO, hoses. But since this is an old combine, I decided to get a uh, little loss management system, or is, is what they call it. It's just basically a pan that drops down into the straw path, and then you can pick it up and see how much uh, product and or, well, in this case, for this field, barley is in our uh, straw so we can properly adjust the combine to get a better yield. Right, more stuff's going into the combine than out of the combine. Well, more barley's going in the combine than out, okay? That's just basically how it works. I'm starting to real uh, realize why uh, the guy that had this farm before me <laughs> didn't plant very close to the uh, river. Whew. That was about a nine and a half on the pucker scale. Woohoohoo! I don't want to do that again. Oh dear lord. Whew. Um that that was that was mildly terrifying people. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna put this combine in the river. Okay? We wouldn't be living in a van down by the river. We would 100 percent be living in a combine down by the river. And uh you know what? At, 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 at that point, I would I would much rather be in a van. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I would, I would much rather be in a van because at least the van would be dry. All right. Because technically it wouldn't even be a combine by the river. It'd be a, we'd be living in a combine in the river. That's a problem. But regardless, we good. We made it through. We, we didn't die. So uh, yeah, let's get back to work. Now, I am greatly impressed. Um, it's amazing what happens when you actually go and lime and fertilize a field properly because, well, we didn't even make it to headlands. Where is the good tractor? There it is. There we go. Oh, you're still hooked up. Um, hit that button. There we go. Because, uh, well, we didn't even make it to headlands. Okay. And we need a little bit. Oh, yeah. That has probably been costing me money. We should definitely come in here, get rid of that. There we go. Let's grab our trailer and get over there, get that combine unloaded. And then we'll see if we could potentially sneak this uh, trailer around and get those chickens fed off of this little uh, load from the combine. Yeah, we, yeah, we couldn't make it. The house is in the way. The fence is in the way, so and now we are in the skid steer doing the exact same thing that we bought the skid steer for. Scooping up grain and feeding the chickens and the ducks and everybody because I don't know why this guy put this fence back here and everything else. I, I think he just liked to make his life difficult but is what it is. Um, I really don't want to knock out that stone wall. 
If we knocked out the stone wall, this this would be a lot easier to do. But yeah, I like that stone wall. It looks pretty. So yeah, we're just gonna tear up our grass a little bit. Oh well, it happens. And uh get these chickens fed. Well, chickens and ducks. Cannot forget about the ducks, because I have a feeling that somebody's gonna leave a comment saying, Well, what about the ducks? So you know who you are. Now, I've been doing pretty much half of this field in the cab, okay? And I'll be honest, um, I kind of like it. It's nice and easy to keep track of... Dang it. Just let me zoom out. Thank you. To keep track of the uh, header. So, you know what I think we're going to do for the next one? Um, I, I think, I think we're going to do a time lapse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to do a time lapse. So, buckle up. Hold on. And, uh, let's get everything offloaded. Because, well, actually, the next field's barley, too. So, we should be good. We should just be able to jump in here, go dump this out, and then just take the combine over there and just start harvesting yeah i think i think i think that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be fun it'll be fine don't don't worry i won't i won't break everything too much it's old equipment it's 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 strong it's sturdy okay it, it can it can take it i hope Ooh, we got calves i'm, I'm I'm glad you guys didn't have any troubles because I I really need to contact the old guy that used to have this because I didn't know they were supposed to calve. Dang it.
So, we're dropping off our last little load of barley. We ended up with 41,774 liters of barley. Now, I have a feeling most of that's going to go to the chickens, unfortunately. But, it's all right. We'll be able to make some, some green. Well, I don't know if you would... We'll, we'll be able to make some cash off of the green grass yeah there we go yeah i don't want you guys uh missing misinterpreting that actually you know what? i already know you guys have okay I, I i i trust you guys about as far as i can throw you i know you guys have already misinterpreted that and uh it's probably all over the comments now now uh today we're gonna be uh doing some different things well first off we're starting off by moving the calves out to the pasture and then as we're gonna be doing that we'll be bringing the uh heifers back to the house that way they could be on uh the tmr yeah it's just all around fun things you know get the calves out where they can move around be be nice and healthy and everything else i i think it'll be good for them oh come on get through the mud then um after that we're gonna be mowing and uh doing some some special bailing man after about eight different trips, we are finally done. And my backing up skills have really been put to the test. I am not gonna lie. Ah, oh, all right. It select, move these to husbandry. Yes, there we go. Now, where do I put the trailer? Um, you know what? I think we'll put it over here in this field. <laughs> I think we're just, I, you know, I think we've reached the point to where we just, we just need to take out this field. Just put some dirt down or knock everything out and uh, get it painted. Kind of use this as storage. I mean, it's not that big of a grass field. So it won't, you know, it won't be too much of a loss, especially with, uh, you know, all the other grass fields that we have. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that this winter. It, then if we do that, we can put up more barns. <gasps> we could even put up a, uh, we can even put up that shed to hold all of our, uh, bales. <gasps> Ooh. I'm liking this idea. Hopefully, hopefully they'll work with uh, the new bales that we're going to be trying out today. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But first, I need to get this bale off of here. I need to get the loader off of this tractor. And then we'll get to uh, baling some straw because we are currently out of straw. Well, pretty much out of straw. And then we'll get to uh, mowing and baling with our uh, new equipment that well. I'm, I'm pretty excited about, I'll be honest. I'm really excited about it. So after spending about $300,000, uh, we got a giant baler, okay? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. 4B, you can't wrap those bales. Well, you're wrong, okay? I can wrap them now. All right, I know people. This is a prototype, and uh, guess what? We're gonna go wrap some giant Heston bales, okay? And and we we have something that'll make life so much easier. Even though I had to buy, oh yeah, and I I bought a I bought an auto auto load trailer. 
Yeah. I I'm I'm happy about that. Um yeah. And I had to buy this little trailer too. Cause as you guys can tell, we got a swather. Okay. We got rid of our uh, grass cutting stuff. We got rid of all of it. And uh, now we have a swather, which I am extremely happy about. But funny enough, um, we're not going to be using the Heston right away for bailing. We will probably be using the Massey. So that way we can get our straw done and get everything planted. Or it, maybe we'll maybe we'll do straw tomorrow. I don't know. We should still have enough to uh, feed the cows tomorrow no actually no no we won't um so yeah we'll probably do do a little bit of uh straw bailing today get all of our straw picked up at least with that uh massey the round baler and then we'll switch over to the big boy after we're done cutting all of our grass so yeah let's let's get to work with the new equipment now, I am truly excited to see how much and like how, how much faster this is going to be, because I can almost guarantee you we're going to be able to get so much more done and save until we do things like that. Oh, man, I really need to get rid of these hedges. I mean, I got rid of some of the hedges, but just not all of them. But regardless, like we're going to be able to mow and bale a heck of a lot faster now because we don't have to come back through and all right, come on, come on. There we go. We don't have to come back through and windrow for one. And we don't have to make as many passes because this header is absolutely massive compared to the little stuff that we were working with beforehand which i mean i know I, I i should be used to it by now but I'm, I'm just not okay and i do know that when we go and get everything taken out and we finally have something around to knock down some trees we're definitely knocking down this big boy right here because i feel like we could we could get so much more into this field or not so much more, a little bit more out of the field if we did, you know, so eh, once we have the equipment around, we'll do it. But till then, we'll, we'll just mow around it. Now, I did do something special with this field. OK, I went and I got rid of all the shrubs and fencing in between all three of these fields. So now we can do something kind of like this. Oh yeah, get everything knocked out. So that way we pretty much know exactly where we need to be whenever it comes time to conjoin all these fields this winter. And we also went, got a plow and a rock picker because well, we're, we're gonna need it. There's, there's definitely gonna be rocks on the ground and rocks that are gonna get pulled up by that plow whenever we combine these fields. And we also need to plow and rock pick our uh, new field so there's that as well but yeah i mean i'm, I'm kind of happy with this this swather is making life so much faster i i am i am very very happy i hit the bullet got the loan and now we have a swather so yeah <laughs> it's a great day i'll be honest that's going to be fun to uh, bail. Yeah. But you know what? We'll, we'll eventually get rid of them when we can afford to. Because as of right now, we don't have very much cash. We may end up selling some uh, slurry just to, uh, you know, fight off the loan money that, that, that we're definitely going to have. Like the interest for our loan. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I I probably should have thought about that, but you know what? Nobody has ever said, 4B, your money management skills are amazing, okay? And there's a reason for that. Now, here comes the fun part. Okay, I had to buy this little trailer, so that way we could put the swather header on it and end up 
actually uh, moving this swather around, but it is just a touch low, but it seems to really not care. And I am happy about that. You know, it makes life a whole heck of a lot easier whenever Yep, there we go. Whenever uh, everything just works just right. Ah, dang it. <sighs> Until you forget to tie everything down. All right, let's do it again. I will say this, I do feel smart for getting these little bit grippier tires up front because uh, this thing has no problems going through the mud. And I, I greatly appreciate that you know it is it, it makes life very very easy i was i'll be honest i was kind of worried that it'd have pro problems but uh you know what it, it didn't and that is awesome okay that's all i gotta say i mean we are tracking a little bit of mud actually i should probably shut this gate once i get this tractor out of here um we are tracking a little bit of mud into the cab but you know what that's all right all it takes is just a little bit of cleaning and we'll be just fine all right uh hopefully the calves don't rub on that and break something all right shut that now let's finish up and get the last field done now that we have finished up our uh grass mowing we're going to go get all this straw bailed up so that way we can actually go ahead and hook up to the big baler because, well, I really want to get to wrapping these bales. This is going to be awesome. I'm excited for it. And if you guys can't tell, we're trying out some uh, new net wrap. It uh, kind of has nice little red stripes on it. I, I kind of like it. You know, we're, we're a Massey Ferguson farm. And uh, it's nice and massy red. So, hey, bonus. Okay. It, it matches the farm. I never, who, who would have thought that I would care about aesthetics? Okay. I, not me. Definitely not me. Okay. But we got some bailing to do. So let's get to it. I had hoped that we would, uh, you know, have enough net wrap to do this field. <laughs> I was really wrong yeah yeah like really really wrong uh all right there we go get it filled up it's gonna take a little bit but you know what it is what it is i can't complain too much i have one bail that's a little bit different than everybody else, but you know what? It's all right. We have our, we have it filled up now. So let's get back to uh, bailing. Finally, we are done. Can't tell you how excited I am to actually. Oh, wait, come on. Got to hit the right buttons in the right order. There we go. To actually be done using this round bale, this round baler for the day, because uh, yeah, square baling, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's 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 the way to go. Okay, you get things done really quick. Okay, especially when you're gonna be making like ten thousand liter bales. Okay, at least I think it's gonna be ten thousand. I don't know. Yeah, I I didn't do enough research. All I know is that this is going to make transporting silage a heck of a lot easier and we're going to be transporting a lot more at any given time which will be extremely nice if you ask me all right now let's jump out get this unhooked go hook up to the heston and get to the fun bit <laughs> look at the size of this thing compared to our tractor it's like the same size <laughs> all right all right let's jump in here kick it on drop it down 
Let's see how big these bales are going to end up being. I hope, I, I, I hope they are a pretty decent size. Now, all right, all right, we have already surpassed the size of bales that we were, we were making. Oh, is, is, is that like 9,500? 9,500 liter bales. That's, that's massive. You know what? I, I'm not going to complain, okay? Let's just, let's just get the bailing done. Well, I think, um, we may be, uh, tearing up one of our, uh, grass fields after we combine these fields all together and get everything replanted because, well, apparently, uh, the precision farming does not like the fact that we have not replanted this yet. But, oh well, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, we may end up, uh, tearing up, I'm, I'm thinking the grass, the grass field by the, uh, house. Oh yeah, right, right next to the farm? Because we've already gotten 57 bales. 9,400 liter bales off of just this alone. Okay. That's a lot of bales. I don't care who you are. All right. That, who, that is, that's, that's a lot of liters of bales. Okay. And if they're going to be made into silage, oh dear Lanta. Can somebody say cash money? Whew. It's going to be a great payday. Now let's just hope that this baler fits across this bridge. Now, one thing I am for certain about is I am going to be watching the used vehicle market like a hawk, okay? D until we sell the silage at least. Because, well, this this baler, whatever that uh that bale, you know, you see you see that bale is about to come out. Yeah, whenever it gets towards about to drop, the rear end of this tractor gets really loose. And if I hit a bump, it will go up into the air. So we need a little bit bigger tractor just so that way we can keep our tires on the ground. Cuz I'll be honest with you guys, I don't I don't like it when my tractors go airborne. It's 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 not enjoyable. It's kind of terrifying. And just like that, we are done with our bales. Well, for now at least we still got to wrap them which i need to I, I i probably should have checked to make sure that the uh wrapper worked i was told that it's 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 a prototype you know and it, it's it's untested and it it i need to make sure that it works right yeah i probably should have done some testing before i uh started all this fun uh-huh well, you know what? Hopefully it works. Hopefully. That's all I got to say about that. All right, let's go jump in here. Oh, also, if you guys are wondering who made the edit for this, it's Schultz modding. I know I said a friend, but, you know, I mean, I consider him a friend. I don't know what he considers me, but let's go see if this works. Schultz, if this works, you're a mad genius, okay? All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Does it work? Yes, it works. Hmm. My silage bales are bigger than yours. Definitely. Well, I am happy that this wrapper works, even with these absolutely giant bales, because let's be honest, it, it feels like they shouldn't work. Okay, but they do so i have five down and 79 to go it, it this is gonna be a long process now, so. it is officially time to get planting and well we got a lot we got a lot of work to do okay we're gonna come in here we're going to drop this down hold it out we're gonna go get this field plowed and ready to go and also get all of these rocks out of here. Then we're gonna get this field planted, our other field planted, along with 
our uh, um, grass field right behind us. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Sorry, <laughs> I, I was I was confused on why we're pulling this up, but then I forget the uh, fields are surrounded by grass on this map. So yeah, it, it gets a little confusing at times. Uh, but man, I really want to buy this grass field back here and combine. You know what? Maybe we'll do that next year. We'll combine it together with this field, then make one nice big crop field. Well, that took little to no time. Now we just need to grab the rock picker, catch it, hook up the hoses, go pick some rocks, figure out where we're going to put the rocks, and then it'll be time to get to planting. And, well... I don't, I don't necessarily know what crop we're going to be planting right now. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is going to be fun. I got to, I got to make decisions today. I got an adult today. Ah, uh, I don't like adulting. Well, we didn't get as much, um, as I was hoping that we would get for stones. You know, so that way, that way we can make some, um, uh, lime with it. There we go. <laughs> English is difficult today, but I think we got about 2000 liters roughly. But luckily we have uh, a direct drill here so we can come in here and we should not have to plow up our uh, grass field at all, which will be very nice. So we're going to go. I'm going to plant some barley on this field. Um probably plant barley on this field as well and then we may do some oats on this our new field that we just plowed up yeah yeah that's what we're gonna do barley barley oats yep because you know what i i've always liked barley and uh i, lo I love planting oats so uh looks so good man Oh, sorry, getting distracted. Let, 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 let's get back to it. As I've been sitting here, getting everything planted, I've been wondering, where do I want to take this farm? And I think I, I think I know where I want to take it now. I want to go and make this farm a bigger and better farm. Now that means I want to I want I want to renovate the farm. I want to re renovate the actual farm itself. I'm going to keep the kind of the same aesthetics, but I want to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more roomy, a little bit more accessible while also increasing the size of the farm. Cuz initially we only started out with shoot, just three fields and or no, four fields. Yeah, four fields. So I really want to expand the farm, um, bring in more crops, even though the gra like, grass is really predominant and the soil is not conducive to really having anything but grass. Um, I want to bring in more grass or less grass, more crops, and, you know, make it a little bit more of a farm. Oh, like of a well-rounded farm that's that's what i'm trying to go for um i'm currently still trying to uh decide everything that's why uh you know i'm i'm not very good with words right now oh that was the wrong button lock it in over here there we go i'll have to come back and get that little piece but yeah that's that's where my mind's been on it I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I renovate the farm? Let me know down in the comment section below. All right. So we have finished up our one field. Uh, I must have hit the wrong button at one point in time. Because no, dang it. There we go. We're supposed to be doing barley. Yes. Yes, we're doing barley. Okay. Now we're going to go and do the one thing that if you know me, I hate doing, but as of right now, this is a very necessary evil because, well, we, we have too much grass. We have, we have too many grass fields. Okay. And 
Yeah, we, we got to get rid of some. These little straights were pretty easy to get done. Now we just need to turn this back on and finish up this little spot down here. Now, I know <laughs> by the uh, pond that's going to create some issues for harvesting. If it, that that's pro that that's definitely a problem for future me. Yeah. Um, probably should have thought that through and just planted on top of the hill, not on the side of the hill as well. Is what it is. All right. We we need some beach. Um, and I'm saying beach as in sand beach. Okay. Barley. So, is what it is. We'll fix it later, maybe. So we have that one done. We need to turn it off, raise it up, swap over to oats. All right, now we should be able to plant this field, hopefully on this whole entire uh, tank, but no promises. Definitely no promises. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, come on, get in there. Get in that corner. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do it. Drop it down. Turn it on. Here we go. Ooh. Eh. This tractor's hand on the hill a lot better than I thought it would. Well, we barely had enough seed to get that done, which is perfect because I've, I've been wondering when we were going to finish up this tank of seed at least because... Our, our seeds have been sitting out in the in the rain a little too much and uh yeah yeah it's probably not good for them next thing we know we're gonna have a uh, bag of seeds that starts sprouting we have well our final grass harvest of the di of the year um and enough it should end up being enough that'll bring us to over a million dollars worth of silage to sell, which will be very, very nice. Okay, and then we can start tearing apart that field, hopefully getting a little bit bigger equipment and cutting down trees, doing everything that we need to do to the big field to make it to where, you know, it's all one easy field to do and counts as one field, you know, so at, but I'm, I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. So that all that means is right now we're selling milk, so we can get a little bit more money. Hopefully, start getting some of that bigger equipment, and then we will go and get to harvesting some grass. So I'm gonna get this milk sold off, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, that's pretty much a hundred thirty thousand dollars for one load of milk um we have like one and a half more loads to go <laughs> Ooh, we are making some money today yes now while that gets filled up we're gonna come over here we're gonna get our uh massey set up and we're gonna get everything brought out to the field so that way you know we don't do as much running around because <laughs> Tell you what, the daylight is coming later and later every day, and well, it's ten o'clock right now, and yeah, it's it's just now getting to where the light is bright enough to be workable. So, yeah, we need we need to get to moving. So we sold off our second load. We're up to two hundred ninety six thousand six hundred sixty four dollars, and I think I know what we're gonna do for um like like what we're gonna do with this money first of all we're gonna go and see if maybe we can replace this old tractor i don't want to do it but it it's getting old it's getting wore out it's i mean we could keep it just for and just do like what we've been doing and just keep it hooked up to you know the feed wagon and that's it but i would like to get at least one more decent tractor that 
has enough horsepower to do whatever we needed to do and is nice enough you know to give us a decent ride and be able to get us where we need to go quickly even though we don't usually tend to have much uh travel time you know because everything is kind of small but regardless i would like to be able to have it in case we need to take you know something across you know to the other side of town or something with a tractor so once we get this sold off and we figure out how much money we have um we'll go and see what kind of tractors that we can get that was that was almost another hundred grand huh well i, I wish it would have been a little bit more if i'm gonna be honest because then we could have afforded to buy a new uh combine but i think we're gonna have to wait until uh we sell off all of our silage to do that which will be fine that is perfectly fine um i think we're gonna go with a uh, massey ferguson 8s um i went and i looked at it it's uh, roughly i want to say 315 316 something like that not not nothing too terrible so uh we'll go we'll go give it a look here in a few so price was a little bit more than i expected i i didn't know how much it was going to be for the big tires but 321 665 for a massey ferguson 8740s i think we have like 403 horsepower way more than we'll ever need okay and i'm happy with it we're gonna go over here get the uh, 7s off the heston because as i said last time we're we need to have a little bit um more weight in the back of this tractor because uh when the heston is full and we hit a bump sometimes it picks the rear end of the tractor up and yeah that's that's not safe okay nor is it fun to be in when that happens it's a little terrifying so let's get this hooked up and we will get right to work all right let's go all right so with that we're done oh come on i know it's a tight squeeze come on quit it there we go there we go um we're done with our grass harvest for this year and no oh, come on so many bumps this gets caught on everything uh, um but regardless we're done with grass harvest it is time to jump in that new tractor and uh you know get to work bailing everything up i am i'm kind of excited about it i'm waiting on schultzy to bring back our uh wrapper he said that he was gonna speed it up a lot and i don't know what he means by speed it up i'm kind of worried i'm not gonna lie but who knows okay you, you know it, it, it's it's schultz he, he could be he could be doing something cool maybe i i don't know but i do know we're in a brand new tractor oh you smell that oh yeah it's a new tractor smell yeah that's probably gonna get ruined today should not have ate those beans let's go well there's already one thing that i can tell you this tractor is handling this baler a million times better okay we're running about 200 rpm less okay it's there's there's no hiccups no nothing it is just going and that would be expected because we have almost twice the horsepower yeah almost twice the horsepower as our second biggest tractor so i i, I would hope that this that this tractor has no problem with this baler but you, you never know okay sometimes things just don't like each other and things just don't work out but thankfully this one actually worked out i should probably keep my eye on the windrow because this is not a straight windrow so yeah we're gonna go get all this bailed up and uh see uh see when chelsea's gonna show up with the new wrapper well that took little to no time pick this up kick out that bail 
bench folded up. Let's, let's go back and uh, see if we can get a hold of Schultz and see whenever he's going to drop off that wrapper because I need it. I need it badly. I guess the one that uh, he was trying to make faster didn't end up working. So he just brought over the old one, which is, is fine. It works just fine. So uh, we're going to go over with the uh, 7S and uh, start wrapping some bales. Yeah, this is this is going to be fun. This this takes forever. So slow. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We'll, we'll be just fine. We got we got all day. It's OK. Oh, fun. This this we're having fun. Only took me about an hour, but I was able to go and get everything wrapped. It, it, it's a little bit faster, not too much, but I, I think it is. I mean, shoot, last time it took me about two hours to wrap everything. So I can't complain too much, okay? Now, the fun part is you're gonna be just driving around, picking up all of these bales. It is March. And well, let's be honest, it's time to sell everything. Um, but we are, we're, we're kind of having troubles right now because uh, we are running extremely low on hay. So therefore, um, I don't think we're gonna tear up the field and combine it all together yet because well, uh, we, we need that grass to grow as soon as possible because I don't know if we have enough hay to feed these cattle throughout the year or throughout till it's time to get some hay. Um, but regardless of that, we have some silage to sell. We have some slurry to sell. And uh, as you guys can see, I have a uh, nice little toy, also known as a TLX Phoenix with a uh, tanker on it, set up and ready to go. So, cause well, that Phoenix will hold all the slurry that we need. We don't have to make uh, like, 90 trips okay because we have like 400,000 liters of slurry and i don't want to drive you know back and forth a million times when i don't have to because i'm already gonna have to do that with the silage all right that's that's not gonna be fun and if as you guys can see looking back there we are almost out of silage bales as well so yeah we are running extremely low on food for this for these cattle but is what it is we will uh we'll, we'll, we'll persevere now right. over winter time i've been thinking and instead of doing all of our like storing all of our bales right here like out in the open where you know this is where we mix most of our feed i think uh once we renovate we're gonna move all of that process back here because that's gonna make it a little bit easier to get over to this pen and to get over to the uh, pasture out back and plus we'll have a little bit more room to store a little bit more hay and silage all in a line kind of like this and yeah so today though we are selling all of these uh <laughs> however many bales of heston bales that is um it's at least nine loads i know that and we're going to uh, sort off the hay bales, put them over here, sort off one line of round bales and put them somewhere else. And then we're going to sell the other line of round bales. I don't necessarily know how many that's going to be, but you know what? It We should be at least, and I mean at least, make over a million dollars today, hopefully. Now I need to figure out where to take this half load of bales and uh, we'll get a general idea of how much money we're gonna get. Are you done filling yet? No, you are not. Holy cow. Well, I I, I mean, you know, I, I should know that it takes a little while to pump up 400,000 liters of slurry, but you know what it is what it is. So let's go figure out where the silage is going. We'll jump in the 8s and get to moving now luckily enough for us our uh 
bales get to go somewhere new this time. Which is kind of nice. Let's go to the Bally Springs Garage. What they are going to do with this many um, silage bales, I have no idea. But they're paying us the most. They got a beacon set up for us, which is nice. Because I had no idea where this was. All right, all right. Back this in. I have a feeling I am going to... Oh, hey, $58,000 or 58 five? Heck yeah, I will happily take that for half a load. That means about a hundred, yeah, about a hundred grand, a little over a hundred grand for a full load. Bonus. Well, that was a little weird. I did not get as much money for that as I thought I would. I think we only made 93 off of that load. Huh. Maybe my math was a little off. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to... Maybe they weren't fermented yet, which doesn't make sense because we we bailed those up in November. They should have been... Oh, why are you stopped? Are you, are you really just trying to get an insurance claim or something? Dear Lord, people. But, uh... May... Like, we, we bailed those up and wrapped them in November. Maybe maybe it wasn't warm enough to ferment? I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. All right, so we got paid the same. 88.5 for the bales and 51.98 for the environmental score. So, oh, come on. I made this turn how many times off camera? And now that I'm on camera and recording, I have to... You know what? Is what it is. But I think I think it was just a case of my math was off, which surprise, surprise, for B's math's off. We all know that uh, I'm not supposed to be doing that. So yeah, it's not surprising, but uh, I'm gonna knock out these bales, see how quickly uh, we can get them all sold off and sorted and moved around and all that. You know what? They all just seem to like to stop there. So I am just gonna take a nice little shortcut ahead of them. But I'm going to get all these bales sold off and sorted around and I'll see you guys back when I am done doing that. Now we have finished selling off all the uh, Heston bales. We have moved on to our uh, round bales. Now I went and I moved the hay bales and a load of round, uh, round silage bales over to where we have been mixing. I know that uh, we were... Oh, come on now. Thank you. Uh, I know that we were, you know, going to move that to the new area, but we need to get those bales out of there for right now. And easiest way to do that was to just go and set us up for 11 days or 11 feedings worth. Or actually, it'd be less than that. Probably be seven feedings worth. Yeah, because we only have 14 uh, hay bales left. But uh, we got that set up, ready to go. And how much are we getting off of this? Uh, 75, 3-ish. Yeah, 75, 3.79. So, a little bit less than what we would with the Heston bales, but that's all right. We have probably one or, or two or three more loads to go, so that, that'll work out perfectly. All right, so we are on our last load of silage bales, thankfully. I think this is the... Uh, 14th or 15th trip yeah <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sick and tired of delivering bales I just I just want to go start the renovation come on now thank you all right let's see how much money we get for these bales all right let's spin the camera around back this in here I have gotten really good at this all right what is the grand total? Ending at $899,904. Perfect. That is perfect. Oof. Almost tipped it, but we didn't hit the excavator. I'm okay with that. All right. Let's get back to the house. See if we're done filling that tank up with slurry. And we'll get all that slurry sold off. And uh, we'll, we'll work on that little backfield and uh, start the renovations. Well, I came over here, 
look at the pit, see if we were done, and uh... Ooh. Piece of candy. Nice. It's really smelly piece of candy, but still. St okay, then. All right, so we are finally done filling up with slurry. We're going to go back to the garage because, unfortunately, I guess the garage has something to do with all of the slurry and everything going on right now. I... I... I really don't understand it. All I know is that it's cold and I just want to start renovating. But let's go see how much money we make selling off all of our slurry. What the heck did I just bump into? All right, we're at the garage. Hopefully for the last time today. Let's see how much money we're going to make. Oh, hey, you know what? This, this is pumping out a heck of a lot quicker than it pumped in. Are we gonna go back over the million mark? No, no way. Okay, yeah, no, definitely not. Might hit 950 though. Are we gonna hit 950? Come on, 950. Let's go for it, go for it, yes! We got it, all right. 50, pretty much $53,000 for all that slurry. Oh, I will. I will happily take it. That, that's that's awesome. Now, to get this returned and to go uh, start renovating. I'm, it's a good day. It's a very good day. That truck has been returned. Everything that we have been renting and or don't fully own has been paid off. So uh, let's let's expand the farm a little bit and do a little bit of renovating, huh? Get to it. White snow, red sky, reach up for a soul so high. Blue eyes, fake cry, beware of the fox tonight. I think that uh, turned out pretty well. Don't you guys? Now all we need to do is come over here. Hit, Z, hit O on our keyboard. Get rid of this length of fence. Get rid of this one. Get, and then get rid of this one. There we go. Nice. Now we have a lot more storage, which actually, you know what? I think I might have forgotten something. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Ooh. Uh, that's a little bit bigger than I remember it being. Um, yeah. Let's put it right there. Looks just fine. Be a little bit tight squeezing in through there, but oh well. It'll work. And now we have a uh, place to store all of our excess bales that aren't going in here. 
So that'll be a little bit nicer to the map and a little bit nicer on performance. So yeah, I'm gonna get everything reorganized. Um, hopefully you guys like the beginning of all of our uh, uh, restorations and uh, renovations. So yeah, if you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing and uh, maybe click on one of the, the videos that are about to pop up.